Well, on a morning like this where it is so wet in the soybean field that we really don't want to walk out there and get soaked from the waist down, uh, it seems kind of funny to be talking about irrigation, but you know what? It's not always like this where we've got plentiful moisture. There are a lot of situations and a lot of places you may be farming around the country where irrigation is a really important thing, but when water gets limited and costs go up, we need to look at some alternatives. Our topic today is drip irrigation. And what we really wanted to focus on is subsurface drip irrigation. So in specialty crops where guys have lots of dollars to work with, you might get $5,000 or $10,000 off an acre. You can afford to have a lot of labor out there and actually lay some drip line out for the crop each and every year and then roll it back up at the end of the season. But when we start talking about corn and soybeans, wheat, cotton, things like that, we don't have those kind of dollars to work with on an acre and we can't be going out there every year. But what you can do is lay that drip tape below the ground. Let's say we've got it 18 to 20 inches below the ground or something like that, where what we're trying to do is irrigate our ground and we don't need to use nearly as much water as you would with a center pivot irrigation system. Well, if you've been following our show for the last year and a half, we've been running literally all over the world looking at different types of irrigation, thinking about how can we be more efficient, what's the best way to do this. We were down in Lubbock, Texas last summer and learned a little bit about subsurface drip irrigation. We actually went over to Israel as well. In Israel, they're really fussy about irrigation because they're only allowed to use so much water per hectare. So they've got to be really, really good and efficient with what they're doing. So there's a lot of subsurface irrigation in Israel as well. Now in the United States, in many areas, water's been plentiful, so we haven't really worried about it so much that, well, I can irrigate all that I need to. I'm just limited by how much things are going to cost. Well, now that there's getting to be some restrictions on water in many areas, we have to use that water very wisely to get the best crops. And that's probably why the drip irrigation makes so much sense to us anyway, is that we figure we can probably get by with half the amount of water used. So if you are in an area where water is limited, if you figure, well, I'm gonna put up either a center pivot irrigation system or I'm gonna go subsurface drip, if I can get by with half the amount of water, that's an enormous deal. So like in Israel where they had quotas for water, they only have a certain amount of water they can work with. What some of the guys were doing is they were taking their quota from one field and putting it over for another field so they could have double the quota there. Well, think about it the other way. If you did subsurface drip irrigation, maybe you could use just that quota on each field, raise a good crop and get by with half the amount of water. So it makes a lot of sense to us. Well, there are a lot of things that make quite a bit of sense about drip tape irrigation. The thing that scares guys though right away when you start talking about putting drip tape irrigation out is, man, this is gonna cost quite a bit of money. Can I really yep. afford to do this all on my own dime? And fortunately, the government has stepped in with the Equip program. There are some dollars there available to help you put in drip irrigation. And you say, wait a minute, this isn't fair. They're gonna help some guys out with irrigation. But when you think about it, what they're really doing is encouraging more efficient use of our resources. A lot like what's going on with fuels these days, we've gotta be smart about our resources and use them wisely. Well, the other thing is when commodity prices are high, it makes it that much easier to afford things like the drip tape irrigation. Let's say you spent $1,000 an acre to put in a good system. What would you really have to have every year to make that thing pay? Let's say you could get an extra $200 an acre income. Well, when corn is $5, you'd have to have 40 more bushels. But let me ask you this. You might say, well, 40 bushels, that sounds like a lot. But if water is no longer a limiting factor out in your field, what is? You think about that. I mean, you say, well, right now I'm getting 150 bushel corn. Is there any reason why you shouldn't be getting 250? If, you, if water was no longer a limiting factor, why couldn't you get 250? I think you could. Well, here's the other thing is we don't all have nice flat square fields or... What? We don't? <laughs> no. <laughs> we've got some uneven ter terrain. We've got just on our own farm, we've got terraces. The field we're standing in right now has got rolling hills and you say, oh man, it's not really ideal for doing irrigation the way that we have for years and years. Subsurface irrigation works great in any situation. Maybe you've got an odd shaped field or a smaller field. Or even, even if it is square, think about center pivots. Well, what do you know? You just make a circle out there. Well, with the drip irrigation, you can get all the way into the corners. 
so you can be much more efficient with all the acres that you have. Because as you know, cash rents are on the rise and so are land values, so it's hard to buy more ground. Why not invest money in the ground you already have? We've talked a lot about that on our show, whether it's tiling or doing some zone building, farming deeper into the soil, doing a better job with fertility. Well, this falls right in line with that same thing. You can invest some money in something like drip tape irrigation so you can irrigate all your ground raise a better crop on the ground you have. Well, with any type of irrigation system, it is a substantial investment for your farm. So you have to look at what the, the life expectancy is going to be of a system. With drip tape, it's not uncommon to get 15, 20 years or even more out of a system. So you aren't replacing it every year out there, or, or like you mentioned, you aren't rolling it up every year and rolling it back out. You can put it out there and with the GPS technology we have now for farming, you can follow those lines and avoid having issues and maximize what you're doing with drip tape irrigation. So once again, with drip tape irrigation, we do think it is a good alternative to center pivot systems simply because we can use less water, we can do odd shaped fields, we can get into the corners of fields. We're much more efficient with our water usage and then also with the pumping and everything else. You know, when you start talking about energy, anymore and water it's a big deal in this country so if we can save on that and raise better crops that's a good deal well, another thing we can do to raise better crops every year is controlling weeds like our weed of the week can you identify this tough weed 